Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. So, where do we go from here exactly? Well, Telma did say if we ever had, uh, you know, if we ever needed information, we should probably go over to her bar. So that is what I'm going to do. Sounds like a good idea, doesn't it? To Castletown we go! Well, it's gonna be just outside of Castletown, of course. Because you can't warp inside Castletown, you'll freak out the people and there's no warp point anyway. <laughs> and let's go in! Although, I, maybe I should change to my... Uh-oh. I was just gonna say I should change to my human form before I go in there. But it just happens automatically anyway. <laughs> Bomb guy. That's the guy back in Kakariko. And let's read it. Let's see here. And rare item in stock. Ooh. I might have to go pick those up later. But for now, we go to Telma's bar. And you know the way, so I'm just gonna cut. <laughs> And here we are. Let's talk to some people, preferably a cat. Oh, you're never all that talkative. Uh, so, what do you have to say to me, Telma? Mm, indeed. Hmm. Sounds like somebody interesting. Hmm. The Northern Mountain. Oh, okay, let's go take a look at the Mapsy. So, here we go. It is way, way over there at Zora's Domain. See that spot there? Yeah, that's where we gotta go. And let's see what the other peeps around here have to... No? You've already told me about that before. Do you? Are you guys all going to say the same thing... As you said before, really? Even at this point? Hmm, that's different. Mm-hmm. By the way, I should show you in our inventory, if you didn't notice that. You are now collecting mirror shards rather than the, uh, um, the other things. Uh, for some reason, I can't think of the name for now. <laughs> I am an idiot, as usual. Anyway, oh, I, I'd like to go warp to Zora's Domain, but I, I can't warp here, can I? Oh, I can warp! Very nice! Delightful! Oh, and as long as I'm warping all the way up there, I should probably show you a little something-something that you will uh, have immediate benefit from right away. It's actually down in here, and... I, I, I just want to transform back into a human. <laughs> Will I be able to do that with peeps around here? I'm not sure. Yeah, I didn't think so. Let's hide and see if we can do this. There we go. <laughs> now let's dive into the water. And equip these. And I also need something else, don't I? Yeah. So put these on. Go all the way down. And actually, I could just swim my way through there, couldn't I? <laughs> actually, I, should I show you anything around here? I don't think there's much down here. Even, you can't, oh, you can talk to some of the Azoras around here. Uh, no. <laughs> You're kind of not very descriptive there. Hmm. Okie dokie. Uh, what is this? Ooh, pocket change. I'm guessing there's pocket change all around this area. Probably not all that important, but there's pocket change. <laughs> uh, wait, 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 is this bomb? No, that's not bomb, well, that's coral. Just want to clear out ye old area here, why not? What do you have to say down here? Hmm. 
Like it's looking at you. How can a rock look at you? Oh, hello there. I shouldn't have called her crazy so quickly. <laughs> so, anyway. I believe what you want to do here is bomb this thing, actually. If I recall correctly. Yes. And look, it's a Goron. Trapped inside that ginormous hot spire that melted this place out. Yeah, that was the thing that uh, fell from the sky. I have no idea how that even happened, and I don't even know how he's talking underwater, but okay. <laughs> and you get a bag with bombs! Yeah, it's a, another bomb bag. Uh, it, it's not like a bomb bag upgrade, it's an actual new bomb bag. Like you see, I have I now have 30 normal bombs and 10 water bombs. There, pff, didn't mean to do that. There is a difference. <laughs> so anyway, let's take off. Oops, didn't mean to talk to you. I would like to... <laughs> it's a cold spring. <laughs> so I would like to swim back over to the surface. And since those bombs are immediately beneficial to you, that's why I wanted to get them now. And now I can go dive down the waterfall. Woo! Follow the current. And... I don't remember if I want to go all the way down or if I want to stay on top. Well, it's kind of too late now. <laughs> I'm just looking for the uh, red spot on the map. I, I believe it's a hole in the wall, actually. It's not... I don't want to you two, I'm sure. Maybe it's at the upper level or something like that. Hmm. Ah, this is what I'm looking for. Snow Peak. The next area of the game. But we can't really progress here just yet, but we do have to meet up with somebody. This is the icy area of the game, and not the fake icy area that was Zora's Domain. It was... I mean, I mean it is a genuinely icy area because you know uh, Zora's domain was frozen over due to the dark magic and stuff like that few shadows that's the name of those things that I couldn't think of the name of I feel better now oh who is this ah I see indeed Actually, this is the first time I've been here, so I have no idea. Nor can I feel through the TV screen. <laughs> hmm, interesting. What? It's a sketch! I wonder if you can look at that yourself. I don't believe you can. I'm going to check that out because it would be interesting to see what the sketch looks like. Yeah, you can't. You can try getting through here, but it, it, it's not gonna work. <laughs> so we've got to go back and do something else. First, I'm gonna check that sketch really quick. And no fact. Okay, that's what I thought. All right, let's let's show some people around here the sketch and see what is up. Maybe we'll find some more information, like perhaps from these two. What do you have to say about this? Oh, mm hmm. A reek fish. Interesting name, isn't it? Aha. Uh -huh. Hmm. So I guess we are looking for that fish, perhaps. Hmm. And maybe we're looking for the prince. Actually, shouldn't they have marked something? I know I'm supposed to go back to Kakariko, but I'd like to, you know, show how they hint you to that place. Am I able to show the sketch to the people in the... I mean, the Zoras in the water? I don't think so. <laughs> hmm. Ah, okay, I'm just gonna warp over to Kakariko. Because that's the place we're going to next, anyway. Oh. I forgot about that. <laughs> Must always get far enough away from the peeps. Oh, come on. 
You're gonna be like that to me. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> I guess I'll have to go outside. Uh, it's easier to, easier to transform in a throne room when I could, you know, flop behind the wall or something like that. All right. Um, here. Uh, wait, wait. There it is. There we go. I don't really remember when, where the game hints you that you're supposed to go here. Actually, also I wasn't paying much attention. <laughs> Now, am I able to transform into a human here? There we go. Alright, so let's take a look-see around the village. See if peeps have information. Actually, I know I'm supposed to go to the back of the graveyard, but I like to show the progression of things, basically, if at all possible, to show you how games hint at things. Hey, how's it going? Hmm, maybe? Uh, okay. Well, yeah, I guess so. Indeed it is. Wait, she remembers something. Oh, dang it. <laughs> I like how they set that up, because it's like, oh, she remembers something. No, she doesn't. <laughs> She just gasped at the fact that she liked the name. Mm, no. Who around town has information that would lead me to the graveyard? Does it really matter if I show that or should I just go to the graveyard? I think I should just go to the graveyard. <laughs> to be honest. So, here we are. And we're not actually going to this graveyard, graveyard area like, you know, this right here. What I'm looking for is, wait, wait, is that, oh, it's nighttime? I can get a pole? Really? I didn't notice it turned nighttime. Well, you know what, why not? Let's grab a pole. And you know, I want, I want to say this for a little while, but, oops. <laughs> Scythes, oops. Scythes are like the worst weapons ever. They're like the, one of the most clunky things that you could ever possibly sling. And I am doing a horrible job at this. <laughs> but I got a pole. Yay! Well, a pole is a soul. Alright, let's get out of here. And transform to human. And go through this. The reason why the prince is here is because he's going to see his mom. Basically. Well... At least, you know, pay his respects and whatnot. Here. Oh. Why, yes. You're welcome. Well, I could use a coral earring that could help me catch an a reek fish that's in the shape of a fish hook. So, could you help me out with that? Well, yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, I probably shouldn't sing. <laughs> Oh, thank you. You gave me exactly what I asked for. Yeah, you need this to catch the reek fish. It is a fish hook type of thingy that is something that specifically that that the reek fish seemed to like to eat. It's it was made into an earring and it, it's an upgrade to your fishing rod, basically. Mm, okay, okay. Sounds good. I'll just be able to warp right back over there. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, I know I will be able to. And that's about it, aside from seeing, seeing if we have anything else to say. 
Okay, looking for a red fish. Now if you look in your inventory, you'll see, oh, see fishing rod plus earring. I, I, I thought it would show on the hook, but it's actually got that larva still attached to it because I, I still haven't used that after all this time. And, okay, I think that's all I'm going to be doing in this part, because we're at about 15 minutes here. I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next part.